Have you ever wondered what would happen if space was filled with air? Imagine for a moment a cosmos, not of vacuous expanses, but of breezes and gusts, a universe where the very fabric of space is not emptiness, but air. This is not just an idle daydream, but a question that opens up a Pandora's box of scientific conundrums. It challenges our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. Will planets still orbit in the same way? How would this affect the stars and their fiery processes? Would light still travel unimpeded, or would it dance and refract like a sunbeam through a morning mist? And, perhaps most intriguingly, what would this mean for life as we know it? These are the questions we'll be delving into in this video, peeling back the layers of this fascinating hypothetical. So buckle up and prepare for a journey through a universe reimagined. Today, we will explore the scientific principles that would be affected if space was filled with air. Firstly, we need to understand what space is. Space, as we typically define it, is the vast, seemingly infinite expanse that exists beyond the Earth's atmosphere. It's a place of awe and wonder, home to everything from our closest planetary neighbors to distant galaxies. But what makes space, well, space? At its core, space is a vacuum. That means it's essentially empty, devoid of air or atmosphere, particles and matter. Of course, it's not entirely empty, scattered throughout our celestial bodies like stars, planets and asteroids. And then, there's the occasional atom or molecule, but these are few and far between. In contrast to Earth's atmosphere, where we have a cocktail of gases like oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, space is devoid of air. This lack of air is why astronauts require specially designed suits to survive when they venture beyond our planet. These suits provide the necessary oxygen for breathing, protection from extreme temperatures, and shield them from harmful solar radiation. The lack of air in space also means there's no medium for sound to travel through. That's why, contrary to what we've seen in popular science fiction movies, there's no sound in space. If an astronaut were to scream in space, no one would hear it. Now imagine a balloon. When you inflate it, the air inside expands, pushing against the balloon's walls. In space, without the presence of air or any other pressure, gases tend to spread out as much as possible. It's this lack of pressure that can cause objects exposed to the vacuum of space to expand and potentially rupture. But space isn't just a vacuum, it's also incredibly cold. With no atmosphere to trap heat, temperatures can drop to minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit in the shadows. Conversely, in direct sunlight, temperatures can soar to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, so space is a vacuum, largely devoid of air and matter, silent and subject to extreme temperatures. It's a truly unique and fascinating environment. Now let's imagine if all these characteristics changed, and space was filled with air. One of the most immediate effects would be on the planets and stars. Picture this, the planets and stars, those celestial bodies we've always admired, moving through an air-filled cosmos. The very thought of it brings up a host of questions, doesn't it? Well, let's unpack it. Planets, as we know, are always in motion. They are in a constant state of falling around the stars they orbit. This is due to the balance between the forward motion of the planet, or its kinetic energy, and the gravitational pull of the star. But introduce air into this equation, and we're in for a whole new ballgame. You see, air introduces friction, a force that opposes motion. Now, air friction might not seem like a big deal to us here on Earth, but in the vast expanse of space, it could have dramatic consequences. The increased friction would gradually slow down the planets. Their kinetic energy, the very thing that keeps them in orbit, would start to decrease. And as this energy decreases, the gravitational pull of the stars would start to dominate. Over time the planets would begin to fall inward towards the stars they orbit. But what about the stars? Well they wouldn't be spared either. Stars like our sun, are massive balls of gas held together by gravity. Filling space with air would add an external pressure. This pressure could disrupt the delicate balance within a star that allows it to shine. The star might swell, cool and even collapse under the added pressure. In essence, an air-filled cosmos would be a chaotic one. Planets spiraling into stars, stars collapsing under pressure, the entire universe as we know it, would be in turmoil. But that's not all, there would be more catastrophic effects. The introduction of air in space would not just affect the motion of celestial bodies, it would have far-reaching consequences that would fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. But we'll get to that in a moment. For now, let's take a breath and contemplate this new, air-filled cosmos. Another significant effect would be on light. Now let's take a moment to consider this. Light as we know it, travels freely through the vacuum of space. 
This is the reason we can see the twinkling of distant stars and the shimmering galaxies far, far away. But what if space was filled with air? Well, the presence of air would dramatically change the way light travels. The air particles would scatter light in all directions, a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. This is the very same principle that makes our sky blue here on Earth. The shorter blue wavelengths of light are scattered in all directions more than the other colors because they travel in smaller, shorter, tinier waves. This scattering would effectively create a cosmic fog, making it impossible for light from distant stars and galaxies to reach us. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing nothing but darkness. No stars, no galaxies, just an infinite expanse of black. The beauty and wonder of the universe, hidden behind a curtain of scattered light. Our nights would be darker, our universe smaller, confined to what our naked eye could see without the aid of telescopes peering through a clear, airless space. Furthermore, this scattering of light would significantly impact our understanding of the universe. Astronomy, as a field of study, would face a colossal obstacle. The Hubble Space Telescope, the Kepler Space Telescope and others of their kind would be rendered useless, their view obscured by the omnipresent cosmic fog. The mysteries of the universe like black holes, dark matter and distant galaxies would remain mysteries, their secrets veiled by the scattering of light. In essence the universe as we know it filled with countless stars, beautiful nebulae and vast galaxies would be drastically different. Our connection to the cosmos would be severely limited, our understanding stunted by the inability to observe and study the universe beyond our own solar system. The universe as we know it would certainly not be the same. Last but not least, let's discuss the impact on life. Imagine for a moment a space filled with air. It may seem like a serene and beautiful concept, but the reality might not be as pleasant. You see one of the major implications of a space filled with air would be the increased friction in space. This could have some profound effects on the Earth and life as we know it. Let's start with meteorites. These celestial bodies which we usually see as fleeting streaks of light in the night sky would face increased resistance while traveling through space. The friction caused by the air would slow them down, but it could also cause them to heat up and possibly break apart. This could potentially lead to more meteorites entering the Earth's atmosphere. In other words, we could expect frequent meteor showers. Now, meteor showers might sound like a spectacular sight to behold, and they often are. However, the flip side is that with more meteorites entering our atmosphere, the chances of one of them causing a significant impact on Earth increases. History has shown us that such events can lead to catastrophic disasters. We all remember the story of the dinosaurs, right? In addition to meteorites, there would also be implications for the Earth's atmosphere. The increased friction in space could cause the Earth's atmosphere to heat up, potentially leading to a more intense greenhouse effect. This could result in higher global temperatures and drastic changes in climate patterns, which could have severe implications for all forms of life on Earth. So, while the idea of a space filled with air may seem fascinating, the reality would likely be quite different. Increased friction in space could lead to more frequent meteor showers and potential disasters, and it could also result in drastic changes to our climate. So, as fascinating as it might sound, a space full of air would have devastating effects. In conclusion, while it's an interesting thought experiment, it's probably best that space remains a vacuum. Let's revisit why. We began by understanding what space is and how it's different from the air-filled atmosphere we're used to on Earth. We then took a deep dive into the potential effects of filling space with air on our planets and stars. The gravitational pull would cause a massive, fiery implosion, obliterating everything in its path. Not to mention, the effect on light would be disastrous. The once clear and beautiful night sky would be shrouded in darkness, blocking our view of the universe beyond. Lastly, we explored the implications for life as we know it. Our very existence would be threatened as the delicate balance of our ecosystem gets disrupted. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember to appreciate the vacuum of space that allows us to see the beauty of the universe and keeps life on